This is how to install Pokemon TCG Pocket if you do not live in New Zealand and how to purchase the premium pass on iOS. First thing you need to do is to make sure you do not have any active subscriptions on your Apple Store account. To check that, go into your App Store and click on subscriptions. If you have any subscriptions listed under active, you will not be able to change your region. That means you have to create a brand new Apple ID account. If you don't have any active subscriptions, you can skip this step and move directly to step 3. Go to settings and click on your profile at the very top. Then scroll all the way down and sign out of your account. Once you do that, you'll need to create a new Apple ID. Click on sign into your iPhone or if you have a spare Apple ID account with no active subscriptions, you can use that one instead. Scroll down and click on don't have an Apple ID question mark. Enter your name and date of birth and press continue. Enter your email address. It needs to be different from your old Apple ID email address. Make sure to use a real email address because you need access to it. Come up with a secure password and press continue. Once that's all set up, you'll need to verify your email address. Simply enter the code that was sent to your email address and voila, you're all set up. Now you have to change location in your Apple Store. Open Apple Store and click on your profile in the top right corner of the screen. Click on country, region, and then change country or region. Find New Zealand from the list and agree to the terms and conditions of service. Do you agree? It will now ask you to enter your credit card details and personal details. You don't have to enter your credit card details at this stage. Just click on none and move on to entering your name and address. Enter your name and for the address, you can try to find a real address in New Zealand and enter that or you can make one up. I entered Pokemon Street and it worked fine. To find a New Zealand postcode, I just used this list and matched it with the city and suburb. I actually purchased a New Zealand SIM card for this, but you can probably just use any number. The New Zealand country code is 64 and you can probably enter any 10 digits into the second box. And now your Apple Store is all set up. Do you want to go? Now, because the game is region locked, you will need to download the VPN. I used NordVPN because I knew for sure that they had a New Zealand server and their pricing is very competitive. If you use a different VPN service, make sure they have a New Zealand server before signing up. I do not suggest using free VPNs because they are generally not safe and can jeopardize your online security and privacy. Once you have your VPN installed, connect it to the New Zealand server. A window will pop up asking your permission to use VPN. Make sure to allow it. Now you are ready to download the game. Go to the App Store and find Pokemon TCG Pocket and you should be able to download it right away. Once the game is downloaded, it will ask you to link an existing account. You can use your Nintendo account, your Apple account, or your Google account. I highly recommend doing this step so you can restore your data if you happen to delete the app by accident or mess up something in the process. I had to create a new Apple ID account to download the game and I was planning on changing it back to my original account once the game is downloaded, so this step was essential for me. Now that you've got the game working, the question is, how do you start spending money on it? Because your Apple Store is set to New Zealand, the game will not allow you to use anything else but a New Zealand debit or credit card. The solution is actually super simple. We just need to change the Apple Store back to our local region. Go to your Apple Store and click on your profile pic in the top right corner again. Then click on country region and choose your country. Once you do that, you can re-enter your actual details, name, address, and phone number. You can skip the credit card info again, but you'll need to provide it later when you make the purchase anyway. Go back to the game and you should be able to buy the premium pass now using your debit or credit card or PayPal or mobile phone depending on the country. This is when the game will ask you to enter your payment details again, but this time it should go through fine. If you did have to make a new Apple ID for this, you can now log out of that account and log back into your actual Apple ID account. You should still be able to play the game with your old Apple ID account as long as you linked your account to your Nintendo, Apple, or Google accounts during sign up. You will have to keep the VPN running on the New Zealand server because if you turn it off or change servers, you will not be able to play the game. At least until it actually comes out October 30th. I hope this was helpful. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. I would really appreciate it if you could leave a like, a comment, and also subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you next time. Bye! Oh! Why are you biting me?